I know you've seen the same resin tables over and over again, but I promise you, this one is gonna be different. We're gonna bring the ocean to you. Welcome back to Brooke and Jake Make, where I'm not Brooke and I'm not Jake. Wow, you just said it for me, okay then. Welcome back to Brooke and Jake Make, where I'm not Brooke. And I'm not Jake. Today, finally. Finally. It is whoop, resin table. Or live edge resin table. I know. Slab out of this big, beautiful piece yeah. for our niece. Yes. And I'm excited. I'm super excited. There's not much really to say about a resin table other than we have some cleanup to do, a lot of prep work to do, some mold building to learn, and then a beautiful big resin pour. So, we've done a lot, as you probably noticed. The slab is now in here. We blew it off with air. Mm -hmm. We wiped it down with denatured alcohol. We set it up and tested our clamps. Yep. And we also picked up a dehumidifier because the humidity in our garage is 60%, which is too high for this kind of Mm -hmm. uh, we also picked up a mini AC unit behind us yep. to help try and keep the pour or try and keep the chemical reaction at a normal sort of temperature so yep. that it bonds correctly. And up next is our doing... final prep work. This is our final piece of prep. Yeah, this is our final piece of prep. Yeah. Which is penetrating epoxy. Which is to basically seal off the edges of the wood so that way we don't get as many air bubbles when we do our big pour. This is the thinnest epoxy we have ever done. It's pretty much like water. Like it's a little, it's in between olive oil and water. Yeah. But I will say that I really like how it, the color pops as soon as this touches mm -hmm. it which, I mean, epoxy is a finishing product, right. can be used for finishing, but the color of this wood with it just looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's time for the biggest pour. No, it's on, it's, mm. <laughs> all right. So it's time for probably not our biggest pour, so to say. Not not quite. Not quite our biggest pour, but the most nerve wracking part of this project. Yeah. Where Brooke came in and tested, and it's not sticking to the finger, but it, it is, is still leaving. still a little bit tacky. Yeah, it's leaving glove prints, which means we should be good to, to do our next our, layer. Our first layer. Yep. And we're gonna pour to about a little over a quarter of an inch. Yeah for our epoxy, which is what the label says, mm -hmm. quarter of an inch to, the inch smallest, and to an, an inch, inch and a half. Yep. And that way we can attach our fun little creatures yeah. once we uh, have that layer at a tacky state. Mm -hmm. We're both so, super yeah. nervous. <laughs> very, very Never nervous. been more nervous for a project ever. <laughs> so you're gonna pour all the stuff and I'm gonna mix the colors okay. once we get to that part. Okay. And then we'll go swoosh. Yeah.
boy. Yeah. So it's time to demold this mm -hmm. sucker. We just took all of the sticks, like leveling sticks, out from underneath it. It sat for about five to six days, I think. We gave it some extra time just to so be careful. It may be close to seven at this yeah. point. I don't really know. So it sat for about a week. Yeah. And um, it's hard. It's, it's not tacky. Yeah, it's very hard. We have some weird stuff that we can't really. We tried getting shots of it on camera, and it's mm -hmm. just not showing up. But basically, the resin does go over the wood. Mm -hmm. There's no exposed wood on the top, except like it kind of has little bumps over yeah, the wood. Yeah, it like wood. divots. So like the wood's just slightly taller than the like sides of the resin. Which we did not expect, but we're not really concerned with it because we're gonna sand it um, lightly, mm -hmm. or sand it with 400 grit so that we can then pour a tabletop over it to finish it. Mm -hmm. And that should be self-leveling and get rid of that bump. Yeah. Nice smooth finish. Yep. So, time to unscrew the mold, and then probably start hitting it with a hammer. Yeah. Here we go. Smash it with a hammer. Right, and then we'll see if it just falls apart real quick. All right, so it's demolded. Now it's time to kind of get it to the size that we want, trim it up, get the sharp bits gone, sand it and prep it for that final tabletop pour. Yeah. Up first, table saw time. Yeah. One eternity later. So Brooke's done sanding. Yeah. I, I did zero sanding, it which took, I appreciated. It took a long time. We sanded up to we. Okay, let me. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah we. <laughs> I did some weeding. And some... <laughs> I sanded all the way up to 400 on the bottom and 320 on the top and the sides, so that way our tabletop epoxy that we're about to pour on has at least a little bit of something to grip to, and it should theoretically heat it enough to where any swirl pigtail marks that were left from sanding disappear. And we are working with a colored pigment, so yeah. we do have the flexibility of saying it looks like bubbles or sea waves or things yeah, like that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright, so it's time to attach the legs, and what we decided to do, rather than just screw it straight in, is... Use insert nuts. Yep, so we're gonna space these all out to a reasonable distance, yeah. all equal from each other. Mm -hmm. Put our insert nuts in, and then we'll be able to take this apart, put it back together, many times without issue.
All right, boss, we brought the ocean to you. I think it's time to move. All right, everybody. Remember to do something that makes no! you happy every single day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.